Hello and welcome to another episode of the Heavy Metal Gamer Show. And you are probably wondering, what in the hell is a Bionic Chainsaw Pogo Gorilla? Well, it's a Flash game that is on the internet. A very badass Flash game. Now I know what you're thinking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell, man? You're going to say it's badass right now? You haven't even talked about the game. Well, let me explain why it is badass right now. Bionic Chainsaw Pogo Gorilla is developed by iMockery and published by Adult Swim, although I think iMockery also published it as well. But it can be found on the Adult Swim website for free. That's right, free. F-R-E-E. -E. No payment whatsoever, no shady DLC, no bullshit. Now you're probably wondering what the hell is this game all about? Well, for starters, it's an action platformer game, but with a little twist. You play as a gorilla, who has his arms removed and replaced with chainsaws. Not only that, the gorilla's legs have been removed and replaced with a pogo stick. Now you might be thinking, that makes no sense. Oh, but it does, and it's badass. I remember when I seen this game online, I'm thinking, what the hell, is this some like Flash movie or something like that? I sat down and played it for a few hours. I was completely hooked. And it's a brand new game, as it was released here in 2014. Now, you're probably wondering, damn, this game looks familiar. It reminds me of another Flash game that was released. Well, the developers, iMockery, are also known for another very good Flash game titled Abobo's Big Adventure. Now, what I have to laugh about is the intro with the story behind this game. It starts out with a gorilla living the good life, picking his nose, just like people do when they're driving their car. You know, this one time I was on a family trip and we were stuck in traffic. Just as I I look over, I see some guy picking his nose, using all of his fingers to pick his nose. I knew it! I frickin' knew it! Damn the evil corporation for doing this! This gorilla did nothing to you! So starting off the game, you get a nice little tutorial, showing you the basics, which is nice. Now I know some people out there do not like tutorials, and that is fine. I am a little on the fence about them myself. Sometimes they are great and very informative, and then there are some that are just drawn out and boring as hell. This game just gives you the basics. There are six big stages with a variety of levels to each one, and boss battles that you get to go through. And in each level, there are tons of power-ups you can pick up. Now, most of the time in a game, power-ups are good. They aren't supposed to hurt you. Well, in Bionic Chainsaw Pogo Gorilla, there are some out there that can hurt you. So you have to be careful what power-ups you pick up. You'll see the power-ups that have a green around them. Those are the good ones. The ones with red are the bad ones. Although it's kind of entertaining to pick the ones with red because you might lose your arms or a dragon comes out of nowhere breathing what looks like razor blades at you. It doesn't make any sense, but you know what? That's a good thing. Also in these stages, you will find a variety of different enemies, and sometimes you'll see the same ones. Some of these enemies can be very annoying after a while, especially these dumbass security guards on golf carts. Man, do these rent cops know what the hell they're doing? God, they get on my nerves. One cool thing is how customizable your character is. Throughout the game, you will find a variety of costumes and add-ons for your character. You can change the complete look of the gorilla, and that is really cool. Hell, you can make your gorilla have a horse head or a unicorn head with a tuxedo. Have you ever seen a unicorn wearing a tuxedo? No, you haven't. Now you can, in a video game. Not only that, there are achievements in this game, and you will unlock a lot of them throughout the game, which is pretty cool if you're big into achievement hunting. If not, then it might not be a big deal to you. I myself am not big into unlocking achievements, or I don't get all excited and, you know, almost cry when I unlock them. Like on the PlayStation Network, if one pops up, I go, hey, that's cool. I got an achievement. Yay me. And then I go back to playing the game. Actually, I don't even stop playing the game. I just look up, oh, cool. And then back to the game. You probably don't care either. I don't blame you. The graphics for Bionic Chainsaw Pogo Gorilla are very good. The game has that 16-bit feel to it, and it brings back the nostalgia of sitting down, firing up my Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, or whatever I felt like playing that day, and playing through a badass platformer. Of course, with the technology these days, I think the game looks even better than what games looked like back then. The levels are very colorful, the characters and enemies are very colorful, and there's no bland and boring graphics with this game. There is no glitching, which is quite nice, although for nostalgia's sake, it would have been really cool if they had a level dedicated to glitching. I think that would have been a lot of fun. All in all, the graphics are pretty badass. The music and sound effects are very good as well. The soundtrack is very well composed, and it seems like someone put a lot of time into it. It has that 16-bit feel, and each level has music that flows very well. Not much I can really complain about here at all. 
Matter of fact, I find the music to be quite catchy. One thing I noticed about this game is the violence. Now, I'm not going to go on a rant saying this game is too violent, it shouldn't be released, but some of the animations are just very well done, especially the game over screen, or what I like to call the countdown screen. Hell yeah, that's badass. Pretty violent too. The controls for Bionic Chainsaw Pogo Gorilla are pretty good. Now, I do have a couple complaints. Well, maybe one. There are a few times where they seem a little bit slippery, especially when moving around and jumping on smaller platforms. It's not a huge flaw. It's actually quite a tiny flaw, but it just seems like at times I jump on a platform and I know I am on it, and it seems like the gorilla doesn't hit it. The good thing is, that doesn't happen all the time. Now, the controls are pretty simple to use and understand. You move around with the directional arrows. Left and right moves you back and forth. Up helps you go through doors. Z is to jump. If you hold the down arrow and hit Z, it'll drop you down on platforms. X is your melee attack, and C is to perform the range attack. Overall, Bionic Chainsaw Pogo Gorilla is a very cool game and a lot of fun to play. The game can be difficult at times, and I know there's a few times already I've seen the game over screen, or the countdown screen, whatever the hell you want to call it, which is fine because I like games with difficulty, and it doesn't hold your hand. If you die in a game, you die. I mean, if you lose all your lives, you start at the beginning of the level. Simple as that. Hell, they could have made it even more difficult if you got very far in the game, and you died, it would have been really difficult if they made you start all the way from the beginning again. And personally, I think we need a lot more games like this out there. Sure, there are some games out there that have this, or they are difficult and they don't hold your hand, but it's a lot less than what we see these days. Also, another thing I really like about this game, the creativity. You don't see many big developers, or any at all for that matter, using creativity. Do you really think a company like EA, Activision, Capcom, Square Enix, or even other companies would come up with an idea of a gorilla with a pogo stick for legs and chainsaws for arms? Nope, they wouldn't. Activision would keep milking military shooters. EA wouldn't know what to do. Probably keep milking the military shooter they release. Capcom would keep developing mediocre fighting games and being shady with their DLC practices. And Square Enix? Who knows what the hell they would be doing. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ugh, how many times are we gonna hear this rant? I know, I know, understand. You're sick of hearing me bitch and complain about those companies. But damn it, you know they could be doing great things in this day and age with gaming. But they do a bunch of stupid stuff. So you have to understand where I'm coming from. Back to the topic at hand, the creativity. I like off the wall, ridiculous, creativity and a little bit on the crude side and i mockery did a damn good job at doing this as far as i'm concerned this game should be game of the year because this is better than battlefield this is better than call of duty this is way better than titanfall this is a hundred times better than the last of us this game kicks a lot of ass now i can hear somebody what you can't compare flash games to console games you can actually and to be honest with you it's just my own opinion on this but you sound like a fanboy when you say it should be game of the year. Not really, it's an opinion. Relax, take a deep breath, take a drink of water, it's okay. If you like The Last of Us or Titanfall or the next Call of Duty, then awesome, enjoy it. Keep on playing those games. If you wanna check out Bionic Chainsaw Pogo Gorilla, I will post a link in the description box below so you can try the game firsthand and guess what? It's free! I know I already said that again, but how badass is it for a company to give you a free game? A full free game! I do hope there's a sequel for this game in the future or maybe some other crazy ideas for my mockery and hopefully they're just as crazy and off the wall as this game is. I can't wait to see what they work on next. Well, that is it for this review of Bionic Chainsaw Pogo Gorilla. I hope you guys enjoy the game. And I know there's other iMockery games out there. They have a website you can go check out, iMockery.com, I think it is. If not, it's easy to find, just do a Google search. Go check out their website or go on Adult Swim and see if they have any other games on there. Also, Adult Swim has a lot of other cool games on there as well. Go check them out if you like some off the wall games. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and go check this game out. It is a blast to play. I think more people should be playing this right now. I really do. I did it. I did it for the rock. <laughs>
<laughs> You're fired. Hello and welcome to another episode. Hello and welcome to another episode of. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Hello and welcome to another episode. Oh, piss bucket. Really? F R E E E E E. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Heavy Metal Gamer Show. It's not that funny. It's not that funny. That's a stupid question. Chicken strips are good. I just want to say that. Even though this will go into the blooper stick. Uh, stick. <laughs> this is going to go into the blooper stick. The blooper section. <laughs>